Shelly Emsley. I'm the fifth grade teacher at Swan River School in Big Fork, Montana, and I'm also a Google for Education certified trainer. And I use 3D printing in my classroom to help kids understand the design process and everything that goes into it. I got into teaching because that corny, I don't even like saying it, but I wanted to change the lives of kids and I wanted to impact them on a daily basis and I wanted to change the way they learn because I didn't enjoy school growing up, so I wanted kids to enjoy school so I know that I wanted to be a different kind of a teacher. When I first saw Robo at ISTE and after talking to Brayden, it was very evident that that company was about the product and about getting it in education. Whereas when I went around to some of the other ones, it was more about quantity and masses and, and here, take this, do this. And there wasn't the curriculum backup. There wasn't the support backup. There wasn't the, that passion and that drive for getting it in education. And that's where Robo won me over 10,000 fold. I got so excited with the, um, <laughs> the R2 and the C2 because we're a Chromebook school, so when it is Chromebook compatible and my kids can literally download to their drive and then send it straight to the printer, that was a game changer for us. When I first got the 3D printers, um, my biggest question was how do I incorporate it into the classroom? What do I do? How can I do this? So then I went to edurobo3d.com and looked at their curriculum and it really helped with the modeling and the design process and I learned a lot more and then how to integrate it into my classroom and with the tools and the resources Robo had for me, there was really no place to go but forward. And now it's become this way of thinking, it's a different mindset for kids. When you're given a book and you say read pages 200 to 210 and answer the questions, that there's nothing there. And if you can say, how do you want to learn this? What is something you're passionate about? How can you discover it? How can you show me you've learned this material and set them free? It's, they come back with 10 times better projects than I could have ever assigned or made, and they have choice, and they have a voice in it, and they take more ownership in their learning. It's that kind of thinking that these kids are now doing, whereas before, it, it just would have never entered their mind. So they're looking at the world in a totally different perspective, and that is sparked by 3D printing. My kids, when we start the design process, um, they, we start in Tinkercad, and then they can literally transfer it straight to the printer, which is mind-blowing that a fifth grader can look at something, make it 3D, and print it 45 minutes later, have the piece in their hand. Now, with technology, I can take my kids and show them the world outside these four walls. They inspire, they help kids solve problems and look at the world differently, and they have been life-changing for my classroom. I look at my role in 3D printing as an ambassador. If you want to bring 3D printing into your school, you have to be that person. Oh,